Say that you are building a page for your WordPress website with Elementor. You add a section with two columns. You put an image in the right column. And you want to display some information in the left one. But that information is stored in your website's database. For example, you want to display this SQL table in the form of an HTML table. So, how can you do that? It's actually quite simple. First of all, you are going to insert a short code element to the left column. If you don't already know what short codes are, you should really look it up as it is a very useful functionality for WordPress programmers. Long story short, short codes are tags for code snippets. You can include those tags to your page while you are creating it. Every time your page is then requested by a client, the associated code snippets will execute. Ok, so now that we have created a short code container for our page, we need to create the actual short code and its associated PHP snippet. To do that, we will need a plugin called Insert PHP Code Snippet. I have already installed it, as you can see here, but you are going to hover over plugins, select Add New, type the name in the search bar, locate the plugin, and press Install and then Activate. Once installed, you can see it on the left sidebar of WordPress's dashboard. Cover over it and select PHP Code Snippets. There are some already created by me short codes here, but you are going to see an empty list. Now click on the Add New PHP Code Snippet button. It's time to create our short code. Give it a descriptive tracking name. I will say SQL Example. Now this is the field where you submit your actual PHP code. In our case, this is the PHP script that does the job for us. Its first job is to go to the database and fetch the rows of the table we want. To do that, it uses an already active database connection that there is in WordPress. We can access this connection through the WPDB variable. This is the query it submits to the database server. Once the script gets the results back, that is when the execution of this function over here or method terminates, it outputs an HTML table to display the retrieved data. This is some basic CSS code to style the table. And this is the actual HTML code for the table. This is the core loop of our script. What it does is to iterate over the SQL rows that it got from the database and uses those rows to fill our HTML table. So now I'll just copy the code from my text editor and paste it into the PHP code field of the short code editor. I'm hitting create and hopefully I can see a green message telling me that the short code was created successfully. And I can see it on the list too. Now that we have created our short code, we can plug it in our half finished page. For start, copy the short code like this. Now go back at editing our page with Elementor. Here is the left column we created before. Let's click it and we can see there is an input field asking us to insert a short code. Click it and paste our short code. The moment you do that, the associated PHP code will execute and produce some HTML code. This HTML will be applied to the left column of our section here and we can see a very nice table containing the rows of our SQL table. Now, in order to test our code, let's add a new row to our SQL table.
Now that we added a row, let's see if that reflects to our page as it should. Let's hit refresh and we can see the new row displayed. So our code works. That was it. I hope this video will be helpful in including database content in pages built with Elementor. Thanks for watching.